Hey YouTube, I'm going to show you how to install Android 5.1 inside of VirtualBox. So the two things you are going to need are VirtualBox and the Android 5.1 ISO. I'll um, provide both of the links in the description below. So once you have VirtualBox installed, go ahead and download the 5.1 ISO. It's a five, uh, actually, I think it's like a 400 megabyte file, so it shouldn't take too long. And again, I will provide both the links in the des description below so you don't have to go ahead and search for them or anything. Um, I already have everything installed. So once you do have VirtualBox installed, go ahead and open it up. Um, create a new virtual drive. Um, name it whatever you want. And then right here, just select um, Windows 8.1 32-bit and allocate at least one gigabyte of RAM. My computer only has four gigs, so I'm gonna allocate just one gigabyte. Go ahead and create it. And now this is important. Um, I always do dy dynamically allocated. Um, go on, don't change any of these settings right here. Um, and then allocate whatever drive space you want. The installation itself is one gigabyte, so I'll probably just do about eight gigabytes or so. So that's done. That part's done. The next thing you want to do is change the settings over here. Um, you want to go to the processor and use at least two cores. Um, I tried it with one core, it was pretty slow, so try to use at least two cores. Secondly, you want to go to display and enable 3D um, acceleration. Once that's done, hit OK and go ahead and start up that machine. And right here, it'll ask you to provide the ISO file. So click this little folder and locate it wherever it is on your desktop um, or your downloads folder. I have it on my desktop in this images folder and it's already pointing towards that. So go ahead and click that and hit start it. So next you wanna to go to the fourth op option installation. And from here, you want to go to create slash modify partitions. Hit no at the um, at this option to use GPT. And from here, you want to create a new partition on that. Uh, I created an eight gigabyte drive. Hit new, and then go over to and select primary. And allocate whatever space you want. So I'm just going to use this entire drive. And once you're done with that, you want to create the boot flag. So right. At the top, right about here, oh, you can't see it. So right there, it says name and flags. Right under there, you want to make sure it says boot. So I have bootable highlighted already. Go and select enter there. And you see the boot flag is um, up there. Next, you want to write that. Um, so go ahead and arrow over to write. And it's going to ask you to type in yes. And you'll notice in the bottom right hand. And once you type in yes, press enter and it's going to write that to the partition table. So once that is done, you want to go ahead and arrow over to quit. So after that is done, you're going to come back to the same screen right here. Now you want to go to the partition that you um, created, SDA1, and hit enter. And you want to format it into ext3. So this is standard, go ahead and erase it. It won't erase the partition table. So go ahead and select yes on this. It should be relatively quick. And this is pretty important. Go ahead and select yes on the grub bootloader. And you can skip the grub to EFI um, option. And this is important as well because this pretty much writes everything to the drive. And hit yes. And you can see it's about an 800 megabyte file that's being extracted into that virtual drive you created. It should take no more, longer than 30 seconds depending on the speed of your computer. So we'll just wait a little bit. So that was a pretty quick installation. Before you go ahead and select reboot, you want to come down here and you want to remove the virtual disk from the drive. I'm sorry, remove the disk from the virtual drive. And go ahead and force unmount it. 
Next, you want to pretty much arrow down to Reboot and hit OK. So now, um, if you're a developer, you might want to use debug mode, but I just go into the first one. The first boot does take a little while, so just bear with me here. So there it is. Um, go ahead and go, go ahead and set up the um, the initial um, setup over here. So you might have an error of knocking my mouse over here. All you have to do is go into input over here at the top. If you're using a Mac, and uncheck mouse integration, and then come back into your virtual machine and select it, and you'll get this pop up. And it's pretty much going to say, do you want the machine to capture your mouse? You just go ahead and capture it, and the mouse is in the virtual machine. Go ahead and skip this. Skip the Wi-Fi. Skip my login here. And there you have it, Android 5.0 or 5.1 or 5.01.